Okay, so welcome to uh, All Level Yoga. This is a level one and a level two, so I'm going to be showing you lots of different options to, you can make it as gentle as you want or as challenging as you want. So um, you decide and each posture is different and your body, each day is different. Your body sometimes wants to go a little bit more challenging some days and a little bit more gentle other days. So you just decide what works best for you. Um, so, but it is an all level and it is vinyasa. Vinyasa meaning linking the movement to the breath. So we're going to engage in the ujjayi pranayama, the victory breath, and we're going to move with the breath. So instead of moving and then breathing and then moving and breathing, we'll be moving with the breath. So it's more of an inhale as you move and an exhale as you move. Okay, so let's start sitting up nice and tall. Bring your hands down onto the floor and lengthen your neck. Just lower your chin, exhale your breath out. Let's take a nice deep breath, inhale, exhale through the mouth. Relax your eyes, your mouth, your neck, your shoulders. And then take a deep breath, inhale, and pull the positive energy up from the earth. And bring your hands together at your heart center for our intention. And just a reminder that our intention is to the spirit of our own understanding. In today's yoga practice, recognize the excellence and perfection of your body. Notice how it moves in and out of your asanas with ease and grace. Be aware of the heat your body creates and the power in your muscles, bones, and joints. Honor your body, your temple, by breathing deeply and smoothly into your lungs. Relax your mind and allow it to flow with your body and breath. Marvel at how it all works so beautifully. Feel the gratitude and realize how blessed you are. And may this practice be blessed. We're going to begin our practice with an OM. Let's take a deep breath, inhale, exhale the breath out. And then on the second inhal inhalation, we'll exhale with the OM. Deep breath, inhale. Now let's e inhale for the OM. And bring your hands down. And we're going to make our way onto our back. So moving your blocks out of the way, come up to the front of the mat and bring the bottoms of your feet together. I want your knees open and your feet together in Baddha Konasana. And then lower yourself down onto your back. But when you get down onto your back, then bring your fingers into Om Mudra. It's the tip of your pointer finger to the tip of your thumb. And then bring it down onto your lower belly, just onto the lower part of your belly. Make sure you're comfortable. You can close your eyes or soften your eyes. If you need to, you can bring blocks or pillows underneath your thighs. And start to breathe ujjayi. You want to first hear the sound at the back of your throat. Hearing the sound between your ears. You may find you brought your tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth, behind your teeth, or along the upper palate. And if you did, that's excellent. That will relax your jaw. And bring your long, slow breath into the solar plexus area and breathe into your rib cage. Guide your breath to your ribs and expand your ribs out towards your elbows. You'll be in it. It's wide angle.
Long, slow, smooth, steady breaths. And a mudra, the hand gesture. We use it in yoga and it allows the energy to keep flowing. So that's why the tip of your pointer finger and the tip of your thumb is together. So that the energy will start to flow through the body. So now you're hearing the sound at the back of your throat. You're breathing into your rib cage. Now if it's available to you, start to engage your bandhas. Pull the lower belly in and up, Uddiyana Bandha, as well as engage Mula Bandha, the perineum in the pelvic floor. Pull it up. This will support your back. It'll engage your core. And notice what's happening to your mind. Is your mind wandering? Is it thinking about your day? What you've done before class? Or is it thinking about what you need to do after class? If it is, try to bring it back onto the breath. Bring it into the present moment. Continuing to breathe Ujjayi on your next exhalation. Allow your head to roll over to the side. On your inhalation, lift your face to center. And exhale, roll your head over to the other side. Keep following your breath. Long, slow, smooth breaths. Linking the movement to the breath. So when you've done it three times each way, then lift your face to center. And bring your arms out to the sides, palms up. On your inhalation, lift your arms up to the ceiling. And on the exhalation, wrap your arms all the way around you. Bring your hands onto the backs of your shoulders. Take a nice, slow breath. Breathe into your upper back. Inhale, bring your arms back out into airplane. And let's do it again. Exhale your breath out. And then on your next inhalation, lift your arms back up towards the ceiling. Switching which hand is above, which hand is below. Exhale, wrap your arms all the way around the shoulders. And breathe into the upper back. Giving yourself a nice big hug. And bring your arms back out. Now lift your hands up to the ceiling, and we're going to warm up our wrists. Start by making circles one direction. And then reverse the direction of the circles. Bend your wrists down. Pull your fingers back. Let's do it again two more times each way. Bending and drawing them back once more. Then wiggle your fingers and shake it out. Good, now bring your hands underneath your knees or your thighs and squeeze your knees together. Bring your feet down onto the floor so your feet are hip width apart and your knees are hip width apart. Your hands are down at your sides and we're just gonna do bridge warm ups. So on your inhalation, start to peel your back off the floor, lifting your hips up towards the ceiling. And then on the exhalation, lower your back down to the mat. Let's do it again, link the movement to the breath. Inhale, lift the hips up. And exhale, lower your hips down. And let's do it again. Inhaling, lifting the hips up, starting at the base of the spine. 
and exhale, bring your hips down. Now let's lift the hips up towards the ceiling and hold your hips up as you make circles with your waist. Making circles one direction, great big circles, as big as you can. And then let's switch the direction. Let's make circles the other way now. Good, now lift your hips all the way up to the ceiling. And then starting at the top of the spine, slowly bring your back down onto the mat. Good, extend your feet towards the center of the room. Reach your arms up over your head. And let's take a deep breath, inhale. Let's take another deep breath, inhale. And a third inhalation. Pull the belly into your spine. Let's hold. And exhale, relax. Let's do it again. Stretch your hands up over your head. Reach your feet towards the center of the room. Take a deep breath, inhale. Take a third inhale. Or a second now, a third. Pull the belly into your spine. Let's hold it here. And release. Good. Let's do it one more time. Deep breath, inhale. A second inhalation. Third inhalation. Pull the belly into your spine. Let's hold it here. Bring oxygen into your body, into your brain. And release. Good. Now let's take another deep breath. Inhale. Stretch your hands up over your head. And on your exhalation, draw your right knee into your chest. Bring your knee in. And then on your exhalation, extend your leg out. Reach your arms up over your head. Let's do it again. Exhale. Draw the right knee into your chest. Inhale. Extend. Last time, bring the right knee into your chest. Now hold your knee in and warm up your right ankle. Making circles one direction. And make circles the other direction. Point and flex your foot. Wiggle your toes, shake it out. And extend your leg towards the center of the room. Reach your arms up over your head. Take a deep breath, inhale. And then on your exhalation, bring your left knee into your chest. Let's do it again. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring your left knee into your chest. Last time. Deep breath, inhale as you stretch. Feel really long and lean. Now exhale, bring your left knee into your chest. And hold your knee in and warm up your left ankle. Making circles one direction and the other direction. Point and flex your foot. Wiggle your toes and shake it out. Extend your leg towards the center of the room. Reach your arms up over your head. Deep breath, inhale, and then exhale. Bring both your knees into your chest. And just rock out your back, rock from side to side. And now roll all the way over to the left side. Increasing your energy and bring yourself up into tabletop. So coming to the back of the mat, we're going to begin in child's posture. So bring your feet to the back of the mat or towards the back. Sit onto your heels and extend your hands towards the front of the mat. Bring your ears between your biceps. Your forehead doesn't need to come right down onto the floor at this time. And we're going to hold it here. Connect with your ujjayi breath. And just a reminder, you can come into this child's posture at any time. Now keep stretching your hands towards the front of the mat. Your fingers are spread and the middle finger is coming out the end of the mat. Now come up onto your hands and your knees and curl your toes under. Lift up into downward facing dog. So come, beginning in child's posture, extending your hands gets you in the right position for downward facing dog. Now start with your knees bent and draw your abdomen towards your thighs. Deep bend. And then now start to walk your downward facing dog. Press one heel down towards the floor, and then your other heel comes down towards the floor. So I want you to start to warm up your toes, your ankles, your knees, and even get your hips into it. Connect to your ujjayi breath. Find the breath.
Good. Now look up between your hands and just walk your feet to the front of the mat. Bring your hands onto your shins. Take a deep breath. Inhale as you look up across the room. And then exhale, relax into the forward bend. Allow the top of your head to hang down to the floor. Now, if you're feeling this in your hamstrings, add a bend to your knees. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Pull your belly in and walk your hands up your legs, rounding out your back as you lift yourself up to standing. Good. Bring your shoulders forward and up. And exhale your shoulders back and down. All right, so there's three choices for your feet. Your feet can be hip width apart, is level one. Level two, your toes are one and a half to two inches apart with your bigger space between your heels, or you can have your big toes right together. Well, this more is the most challenging. So you decide. Bring your shoulders forward and up, and then bring your shoulders back and down. We're going to begin with our first sun salutation A, but it's going to be a little bit more of a warm up. So you can have a bend in your knees. Inhale, lift your arms up to the ceiling. Lift your gaze up to your fingers. Turn your hands at swan dive all the way down into forward bend. Bring your hands onto your thighs or your shins. Your hands are a little bit higher as you look up across the room. Bend your knees, bring your hands down onto the floor, and step back with your right foot to come into lunge. We're just going to hold it here. If you need to drop that back knee down onto the floor, you can. It's just warming up the hip flexor. Come onto the tips of your fingers. Now draw the hips back, toes stay into the mat. And exhale, come back into lunge. And let's do it again. Draw the hips back. Exhale, come back into lunge. Let's do once more. Inhale. And come back into lunge. Hands come down onto the floor. Step back with your left foot. Belly's nice and tight. Let's lower ourselves down. Knees, chest, chin. Fingers right beside your chest. Inhale into cobra. And exhale into downward facing dog. And again, if you need to have a bend in your knees, go ahead, bending your knees and bringing your abdomen towards your thighs. Slow the breath down. Make sure you're not putting a lot of extra pressure onto your wrist. Bring your weight to the index finger or the bone underneath the index finger. Find your ujjayi. One more breath. Good. Now inhale, take your right foot up to the ceiling. Bend your knee and look up between your hands. Step your right foot up between your hands. And then step your left foot up beside your right. Hands onto your shins. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, relax into the forward bend. Bring your arms out to the side. Inhale. You can have a bend in your knees as you lift yourself up to standing. Turn your hands. Let's come right back down into forward bend. Hands onto your shins. Inhale. Look up. Hands onto the floor. Step back with your left foot to come into lunge. Let's hold the lunge, making sure that front knee is directly over top of your ankle. Come onto the tips of your fingers. Now draw your hips back, straightening that front leg. Inhale. Exhale. Come into lunge. Let's do two more times. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Good. Step back with your right foot. Top of a push up. Belly's nice and tight. Lower yourself down. Knees, chest, chin. If you want to come a little bit higher, slide your hands back a little bit more as you lift up into cobra. And exhale into downward facing dog. Long, slow, smooth, steady breaths. And again, if you're feeling this in your hamstrings, add a bend to your knees. We're starting to get warmed up. Inhale, lift your left foot up to the ceiling. Look up between your hands. Bend your left knee and step your left foot up. Use a little momentum to get the foot up. Step your right foot up beside your left. Hands onto your shins. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bring your arms out to the side. Press your feet into the floor and inhale, lift up to standing. Bring your hands together and bring your hands down into Namaste.
Let's just flow through our second round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward bend. You can have your legs a little bit straighter if it feels okay. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Hands onto the floor. Hop or step your feet back. Right foot, left foot. Lower yourself down from your knees or your toes all the way down to the mat or hold yourself over the floor. And inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale into downward facing dog. Let's just hold it here for one more breath. And on the end of that exhalation, you can either hop or step your feet to the front of the mat. Right foot comes up, and then your left foot. Hands onto your shins. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Arms out to the side. Inhale, lift up to standing. Looking up at your fingers. Turn your hands. Let's exhale, come right back down into forward fold. Hands onto your shins. They might come a little bit lower now as you look up. Hands onto the floor, hop or step your feet back, left foot, right foot, lower yourself, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale into Cobra or Upward Facing Dog, and exhale into Downward Facing Dog. One more breath, nice smooth inhalation. And at the end of your exhalation, you can hop or step your feet to the front of the mat. Left foot, right foot, hands onto your shins. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward bend. Arms out to the side. Inhale, lift all the way up to standing. Looking up at your fingers and exhale, hands into Namaste. All right, third round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Hop or step your feet back and lower yourself, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Now come down onto your knees and step your right foot up between your hands. Make sure your knees over top of your ankle. Bring the backs of your hands along the floor. Inhale, lift your hands up. Exhale, your hands down through center. Two more times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands come down. Once more. Now bring your left hand down onto the floor. Inhale, take your right arm out to the side and up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower that right hand down. Move with the breath. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And again. Step back with your right knee. You can stay on your knees or come onto your toes and lower yourself down. Inhale into Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. And exhale into Downward Facing Dog. Looks good. One more breath. And again, at the end of that exhalation, you can hop or step your feet to the front of the mat. Right foot comes up, and then your left foot. Deep breath, inhale as you look up and lengthen. Exhale, forward bend. Arms out to the side. Inhale, come up to standing, looking up at your fingers. Bring your, turn your hands. Let's come right back down, forward bend. Inhale, look up. Hop or step your feet back, and exhale yourself down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Bring your right knee down. Step your left foot forward. Making sure that front knee is directly over top of your ankle. Bring the backs of your hands along the floor. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, your hands down through center. Two more times. Inhale, lift up. Moving with the breath. 
Right hand stays down. Inhale, the left arm out and up. Exhale, your hand down. Two more. And last one. Step back with your left knee. You can stay on your knee or come onto your toes and lower yourself, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Bhujangasana. And exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog. Looking up between your hands, hop or step your feet to the front of the mat. Left foot, right foot. Inhale, look up. Exhale, relax. Arms out to the side. Inhale, lift up to standing. Bring your hands together and bring your hands down through center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Hop or step your feet back. Exhale, yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Now take your right foot up to the ceiling. Look up between your hands and step your right foot up between your hands. But stay on your back toes. We're going to lift up into a high lunge. Good. Inhale, reach your hands forward. Lift yourself up. Exhale, sink down nice and low. Now if it's available to you, lace your hands together and take your pointer fingers up towards the ceiling. You can keep your gaze forward, or you can start to lift up your chest and lift up your gaze. Find your breath. Good. Now bring your gaze forward, bring your hands into prayer, and bring your hands down through center. Now let's get extension through the spine. Deep breath, inhale, and we're going into rotating side angle. So leaning forward, bring the left elbow onto the outside of your bent knee. Good. Now take a deep breath, inhale, pull the breastbone away from your belly button, and exhale, rotate to the right. Let's do it again. Take another deep breath, inhale, and exhale, rotate to the right. Now you can stay here, or you can bring your left hand down to the outside of your foot, the pinky toe side, onto the floor, or onto the block, or onto your fingers, and then take your right hand up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Very nice. Let's find our breath. One more deep breath. Inhale. And then on the exhalation, let's untwist. Bring your hands down on either side of the front foot. Step back with your right foot and let's go through the vinyasa. Reconnect to your breath. Slow it down. Once more. And at the end of your exhalation, hop or step your feet to the front of the mat. Take a deep breath. Inhale as you look up across the room. And exhale, relax into the forward bend. Press your feet into the floor, arms out to the side. Come all the way up to standing, looking up at your fingers. Turn your hands. Let's exhale, come right back down. Hands onto your ankles. Inhale, look up. Hop or step your feet back. Left foot, right foot. Lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog, 
And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale your left foot up to the ceiling. Look up between your hands. Step your left foot all the way up. Coming up into a high crescent. Now bring your hands towards the center of the room as you inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, sink yourself down a little bit lower. Lace your hands together. Take your pointer fingers up towards the ceiling. And then if it's available to you, start to lift up your chest and lift up your gaze. Really keep that core nice and strong, pulling the belly in, pulling up the pelvic floor. Try to straighten your back leg by pressing your heel down towards the floor. Nice. Now bring your gaze forward, bring your hands back into prayer, and bring your hands down through center. All right, let's take another deep breath. Inhale, getting extension. Rotate to the left as you start to bring your right elbow onto the outside of your bent knee. Now you can just stay here, just begin. Otherwise, draw the breastbone away from the belly button as you get extension through the spine, and then exhale, rotate a little bit more. You're trying to get your hands to the center of your chest. Let's do it again. Deep breath, inhale, getting extension. And exhale, twisting to the left. <sighs> Try to find your breath. It's harder to breathe into a twist. Now you can stay here or you can bring your right fingers down onto the floor and then take your left hand up towards the ceiling. If you want to use a block, go ahead. Notice the sensations in your body. Feel the heat that you're creating. Let's hold it one more breath. Deep breath, inhale. Now let's exhale, untwist. Step back with your left foot and go through the vinyasa. Exhaling yourself down. Inhale into cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale into downward facing dog. Really take this opportunity to you find your breath, lengthening it. Okay, so from here we want to come into sitting. So if it's available to you, you're going to look up between your hands, hop your feet towards your hands and cross your ankles. Otherwise, come down onto your knees and bring your heels around and extend your legs out. Make sure you have your blocks handy. Or you can try it without blocks. You can try it on the floor if you prefer. Now let's come into Dandasana. Move the fleshy parts out of the way. Your legs are extended, your legs are strong, your feet are flexed and your toes are drawing back. Now inhale, reach for the outside of your feet and lift your arms up towards the ceiling. Pull the belly in. Let's exhale, come into boat. Good. Now draw your knees into your chest as you reach for the outside of your feet. Inhale. Exhale, extend. And again, inhale. Exhale, extend. Keep flowing with the breath. All right, now this time, bring your knees in. Reach for the outside of your feet. Lift your heels up to the ceiling. Good, now lift up your chest. Good, now bend your knees. Cross your ankles. Bring your hands onto your blocks, and we just want to get pendulum happening. So you're bringing your hands onto the blocks or right down onto the floor, and you want to lift up, get a little swinging action, and then extend your legs out and come back to sitting. Good. All right, let's find our Dandasana. Sitting up nice and tall, the core is strong. Draw the toes back. Now reach for the outside of your feet. Inhale, lift your hands up. Exhale, come back into boat. Now this time, bring your hands together between your knees. Open up your knees as you reach for your toes. You can even go past your toes if you can. And exhale, extend. Let's do it again.
All right, this time bring your knees in. Take your pointer finger and your middle finger, wrap them around your big toes, sitting up nice and tall, and then extend your legs out to the side. Good, and again, lift up your chest. Breathe. Good. Bend your knees, crossing your ankles, switching which foot is above, which foot is below. Bring your hands back down onto your, onto your blocks and then find your pendulum. Just get a little swinging happening. Then extend your legs out and come to sitting. Good. Now you're going to bend. We're going to come back into boat. Release, we remove the blocks. Inhale, lift your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, come back into boat. But now cross your ankles. Bring your hands down onto the floor and hop your feet back. And exhale, down dog. <sighs> Find your hands planted firmly onto the floor. Let's take a nice, smooth breath. And at the end of that exhalation, hop or step your feet to the front of the mat. Hands onto your shins. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale, forward bend. Let's just hold it here. Take a deep sigh. Exhale with your mouth. <sighs> Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Pull your belly in. Bring your arms out to the side and inhale. Lift yourself all the way up to standing. Lift your gaze up to your fingers, palms to touch, and hands into namaste. Good. Let's take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale in a bow, honoring our body and all that it was able to do. Release your hands down. Sarnamaskara B. Inhale, reach. Turn your hands. Bend your knees. Exhale into chair. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, and exhale, forward bend. Hands onto your shins. Inhale, look up and lengthen. Hop or step your feet back and lower yourself through the vinyasa. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward. Drop your left heel down. Bring the backs of your fingers along the floor as you lift up into warrior one. Inhale, reach your hands up. Now bring your hands down through center. You're in lunge. Step back with your right foot. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Left foot steps forward. Drop your right heel down. Backs of your hands come along the floor. Inhale, lift up. Now one exhalation all the way down. <sighs> Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Long, slow breaths. Do your wrist get sore? No. No, I slip. Oh, okay. You should bring a towel. Try to bring your weight to the finger here. Good. Take it off the wrist. One more breath. At the end of your exhalation, hop or step your feet to the front of the mat. Right foot, left foot. Inhale, look up across the room. And exhale, fold. Now bend your knees. Reach your hands forward as you lift up into chair. Now exhale all the way up to standing. And bring your hands into namaste. Let's go through a second one. Inhale, reach. Exhale into chair. Inhale, lift up to standing, and exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, look up, hop or step your feet back, and exhale yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, drop your right heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Bring your hands down through center, step back with the left foot. Exhale yourself to the mat. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Right foot forward, drop your left heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Bring your hands down through center. Step back with your right foot, exhaling yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog, 
and exhale, downward facing dog. So if your hands are slipping too much or your wrists are starting to hurt, come down onto your knees and go into puppy. So you're drawing your hips back, but still stretching them up towards the ceiling, tilting them up towards the ceiling. Hopper, step your feet up to the front of the mat. Take a deep breath, inhale as you look up and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Now bend your knees, let's come through chair. Inhale into chair. Exhale up to standing with your hands into namaste. Inhale, reach. Exhale, chair. Inhale, lift up to standing. And exhale, fold. Inhale, look up. Hopper, step your feet back and lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot forward, drop your left heel down. This time, reach your hands forward as you lift up into warrior one. We're going to hold it here, sink down nice and low. Now make sure you're heel to heel, so the heel of your front foot is in line with the heel of your back foot. And decide if this feels good for your shoulders. If it doesn't, then you can bring your arms into goddess arms or even onto your hips. Good, let's take another deep breath. Inhale, reach your fingers up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna exhale into warrior two. Rotate your body to the left, open your arms, and adjust your feet. Now you want your front he heel to be in line with the instep of your back foot. Again, sink down nice and low, and use your inner thigh to pull your knee towards your baby toe. Get length in your neck and turn to look over the middle fingernail of your front hand. All right, let's take a deep breath. Inhale. And on your exhalation, we're coming into extended side angle. So you can bring that elbow onto that front knee and stretch your left arm past your ear. Or if you want, you can bring your right hand down onto your ankle and stretch your fingers towards the center of the room. Take another deep breath, inhale. Then swoop your arm past your face, you're coming into lunge, bring your left hand down onto the floor, rotate onto your back toes, step back with your right foot, and lower yourself down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward, drop your right heel down, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, sink down. Good, draw your tailbone down, pull your belly in. Your, lift your chin just slightly, give a little attitude. Make sure you're not grinding your toes into the mat. Press the outside of your foot back into the mat. Good, let's take another deep breath, inhale, reach your fingers up to the ceiling, and then on your exhalation, open up into warrior two. Adjust your feet, that front foot probably needs to go to the right a little bit. Get length in your neck and look over the middle fingernail of your front hand. Find your breath. Keep using your inner thigh, pull the knee towards your baby toe.
Good. Let's take another deep breath. Inhale, getting the extension through the spine, and exhale into extended side angle. Elbows onto that knee. Stretch the right arm past your ear, and rotate your chest so you're looking past your arm. You can stay here or bring your left hand down onto your ankle, lowering that back hip down a little bit more. One more deep breath, inhale. Now swoop your arm past your face, bring your right hand down onto the floor. So you're windmilling your arms into lunge. Step back with your left foot. Let's go through the vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right foot up to the ceiling. Point your toe and open up your hip. Really stretch it open. Now from here we're going to come into pigeon. Bend your right knee and bring your right knee towards your right hand and extend your back leg back. Flex your left foot. Draw your hands back and bring your chest forward. Bring your shoulders back. All right. So let's find your level. You can stay here. You can lift your back foot up towards the ceiling. You can stay there. You can reach for the inside of that back foot and bring the toes to the inside of your elbow. You can stay here. If even if your back foot isn't lifted, you can take your right hand up, looking at the middle fingernail of your front hand. And then, if you want, you take that front hand back to your back hand. Let's hold it one more breath, really lifting up your chest and then releasing and start to round out your back as you walk your hands towards the center of the room and lower your forehead down. Now you can stack your hands and place your forehead onto your hands, or you can bring your hands onto a block. Or if you have your forehead right down onto the floor, keep stretching and walking your fingers towards the center of the room. Feel the sensations in your body. Notice if you're feeling any tension or discomfort, and bring your breath into it. When we have pain, it's a blockage of energy, and you want to unblock it by bringing your breath there, prana. Good. Keep walking your fingers to the center of the room. Feel the stretch down the arms, through the armpits, and down your sides. Good. Now start to walk your hands back. Tuck your chin in and roll yourself up. Your hands are planted firmly onto the floor. Curl your toes under. Lift up your back knee and step into three-legged dog. Take that right foot all the way up to the ceiling. Now draw your hips back. Open up your or point your toes and open up your hip and bring your gaze underneath your right arm. Now you can stay here, or you can take your right foot down to the floor behind you and go into gate. So your right foot comes down and your right hand comes towards the center of the room. Smooth inhalation, and then we're going to exhale right back into three-legged dog. And bring your right foot down to the floor. Find your downward-facing dog. Make sure your hands are in the right position. Draw your hips back. Get a good stretch through the back. Good. Another breath. Now take your left foot up to the ceiling. Point your toe. Open up your hip, and bend your left knee. And bring your left knee towards your left hand to come into pigeon. Extend your right leg straight out behind you. Your foot is flexed. Draw your hands back. Bring your chest forward. And again, you're going to take it to your level. So you can lift up your back foot. You can reach for the inside of the foot, so your elbows on the inside of your toes, and then if it's available to you, you can lift your left hand up towards the ceiling, and then you can bring your hand back. Let's breathe.
Good. One more breath. And then on your exhalation, start to release. Nice and slow and smooth. Start to walk your hands out and lower your forehead down. You can bring your hands back in and stack your hands. Bring your forehead onto your hands if you want. Or keep walking them towards the center of the room. Find any tension, any discomfort, and take your breath there. Breathe into it. Now start to walk your hands back, tucking your chin in, and roll yourself up. Curl your right toes under and step back into three-legged dog. Left toes come all the way up. Now point your toes, open up your hip, bring your gaze underneath your left arm. And again, you can just stay here or come into gate. Left foot comes down onto the floor. Take your left hand towards the center of the room. Smooth inhalation. Then we're going to exhale back into three-legged dog. And bring your left foot down to the floor. Adjust your downward facing dog. Draw the hips back at a good stretch. Now looking up between your hands, hop or step your feet to the front of the mat. Bring your hands onto your shins. Deep breath, inhale, look up. And exhale, fold. Now just hold it here, shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Bring your hands onto your hips. You might want to step your feet a little bit farther apart so they're more hip width apart. Now bend your knees, bringing your abdomen right onto your thighs or even between your thighs. And then lift up your chest. Inhale, lift up. Engage your bandhas. Pull in Mula Bandha, the pelvic floor. Uddiyana Bandha, pull the belly in. Now you can stay here or you can bring your hands forward. You can stay here or lift your arms up and lift your gaze up. Let's take one more nice deep breath. Inhale, and then we're going to exhale into forward bend. Releasing the top of your head down, shaking the head no. Nodding the head yes. Now you can lift up your toes and slide your fingers underneath your toes. And if it's available to you, bring your whole hand underneath. So your toes come right to the inside of your wrists. And bring your ears between your biceps. Now take your hands out from underneath your feet. Bring your hands onto your hips and inhale, lift yourself up to standing. Good. Leave your right foot up at the front, step back with your left foot. Bend your front knee. Bring your arms out to the side to come into warrior two. We're just going to hold it here briefly. Take another deep breath, inhale, sink down a little bit lower. Good. So really make sure that your feet feel planted into the, into the mat. Really feeling nice and grounded. Pull the energy up from the feet, up the legs. Now from here we're going into triangle trikonasana. So straighten your front leg. Draw the left hip back as you come down. Bringing the right hand down and take your left hand up. Open up your chest. Really draw the right hip back, getting extension and lift your gaze up to your thumb. If you need to release your neck, just look down at your toes briefly and then rotate back up. Good. Keep drawing this right hip back so you get extension through the waist. Nice. Looks very good. Or if you want, you can hold on to your big toe. There you go. Good. Now bend your front knee. Draw your hand up as you lift yourself up to standing. Good. And release your hands down. We're going to bring our toes towards the corner of our mat. Bend your knees to make sure your knees go in the same direction as your toes. Now lift yourself up. 
Bring your arms out to the side and bend your elbows. Lift your fingers up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath. Inhale, pull the belly in, and then spread your fingers. Draw the elbows and shoulders back, but don't pop your rib cage. Good. Now, keeping your knees where they are, bring your hands down onto your thighs. Bring your left shoulder towards your right knee and turn to look over your right shoulder. Come back to center and bring your right shoulder towards your left knee and turn to look over your left shoulder. Come back to center and lift yourself up, straightening your legs. Bend your back knee and let's step up to the front of the mat. Left foot stays up at the front. Step back with your right foot. Feet are three and a half to four feet apart. Hips are rotating to the right. Bend your front knee. Feeling really grounded. Find your warrior two, Virabhandrasana two. So you want your feet to feel really grounded and solid. Pull the energy up from the earth, up your legs. And let's come into triangle straight in your front leg. Drawing the back hip back. Bring the left hand down and take the right hand up. Lift your gaze up to your top thumb. And again, keep drawing that left hip back so you get extension through the waist, from the waist to the, to the armpit. There you go. Okay. Nice. Looks good. Strong breaths. Looks good. Very nice. Bend your front knee and lift yourself up to standing. Good, and release your hands down. Let's bring our feet back into goddess. Toes come to the corner of the mat. Bend your knees. Make sure your knees are directly over top of your ankles. Lift yourself up. Pull your belly in. Bring your arms out to the side, and then lift your fingers up. Spread your fingers. Keep drawing the tailbone down. Keep using your inner thighs to open your knees out to your baby toes. Good. Now bring your hands down onto your thighs and bring your left shoulder towards your right knee and turn to look over your right shoulder. Come back to center and bring your right shoulder towards your left knee and look over your left shoulder. Good. Come back to center and lift yourself up. Turn your toes out the side of the mat, bringing your heels back. Bring your arms out to the side. Lift your arms slightly above parallel. Lift your chest up to the ceiling. Deep breath, inhale, and then exhale. Come all the way down into wide leg forward bend. Now, if it's available to you, bring your forearms right down onto the floor. You might need to kick your feet out a little bit farther. You can lace your hands together, and then if it's available to you, you can lift up into headstand. If you're going up into headstand, bring your elbows a little bit closer together. Good. If you're not going into headstand, just shift your weight a little bit more forward. Is any, are you guys going up? Nice. Looks good. All right, take a deep breath, inhale. Bring your feet back down to the floor. Now lift yourself up. You might need to bring your feet in a step or two. You can have a bend in your knees. Now cross your hands between your feet. Make a big circle as you lift yourself all the way up to standing. Bring your hands together and bring your hands down through center. Good. Now you can accordion step your feet together or step your back foot or your front foot to the back of the mat. Good. We're coming into dancer posture here. So to do dancer, dancer we're going to shift the weight to the left foot. You, you bend your right knee and you bring the inside of your elbow back so you're holding to the, onto the ankle. So it's not the outside of, you want the inside holding onto the ankle. And then you 
your knee comes down towards the floor, you draw your foot back, you don't open your knee out to the side, and then you take your left hand up to the ceiling. You want to really pull your fingers up to the ceiling as you reach for your foot behind you. And release. If you have a hard time reaching your ankle, you can actually use a strap. And if you want, you can use the wall for your left hand, your opposite hand. All right, core strong, slide the shoulder blades down your back, shift your weight to your left foot, bend your right knee, Take your right hand forward and bring your right hand back to reach for the inside of your back foot. So right now your knee is still being drawn down towards the floor. Take your left hand up to the ceiling. Try to get that bicep right by your ear. Deep breath, inhale, lift your chest up and then exhale, draw your shin away from your body. Good, so it's not a forward bend. You're trying to get your left hand back towards your back foot. Find your breath. Good. Release your knee, your foot, your arm. Very beautiful posture. All right. Bring your shoulders forward and up. Exhale your shoulders back and down. Shift your weight to your right foot. Bend your left knee. Take your left hand forward and reach back for the inside of your left foot, your ankle actually, not the foot. Bring your right arm forward and lift it all the way up. Draw your fingers up, lifting up your chest, and then exhale, draw the shin away from your body. So this is a back bend. You want to keep lifting your chest up towards the ceiling. Good. And bring the left knee down, release the left foot, and bring your right hand down. Bring your hands into prayer. Let's take another deep breath. Inhale and exhale in a bow, honoring your body and all that it's able to do. And release your hands. All right, so we're at the back of the mat. Come up onto your tippy toes. Reach your fingers all the way up to the ceiling. And let's lower ourselves down into a squat. Good. So you're in your squat. Bring your hands into prayer, sitting up nice and tall. Now bring your hands down onto the floor, spread your fingers as wide as you can get them and then you're going to shift your weight forward, you're going to bring your knees to the outside of your elbows or above your elbows, slide your shift, or shift your weight forward and then lift up one foot, you can bring it back down and lift up the other foot or if you can lift up both feet together. If you need to put a block in front of your forehead, go ahead. Good. Now bring your feet down. Good. And bring your knees down onto the floor. Bring your heels around to the side. And we're going to make our way onto our back for shoulder stands. So if you prefer to fold in your mat to get extra padding underneath your shoulders, go ahead. Or you can leave your mat flat. It's up to you. Then you lower yourself down so the extra padding is supporting your shoulders and bring your head lower. So just when you get down onto your back, bend your knees and just take a moment to adjust. Tuck your chin in slightly. Make sure you don't look around when you're in the shoulder stand. Your hands are down at your sides. Now lift your heels up towards the ceiling. Press your hands into the floor and use a little momentum to take your hips off the mat and support your lower back immediately. And then you want to walk your hands up your back, working your way up to your shoulders as you draw your toes up towards the ceiling, getting those elbows underneath, and then spread your toes. Nice, slow, smooth breath. Good. Now walk one foot down over your head to come into plow and then your other foot comes down. You can bend your knees if you need to. 
And if you get your toes right down onto the floor, tuck your toes under and extend your hands towards the front of the mat and lace your hands together. So you're really getting the shoulders underneath your, your spine more. If you prefer to keep supporting your lower back, go ahead. Excellent. All right, let's lift our feet back up. Support your lower back and let's lower ourselves down nice and slow and controlled. And when you get down onto your back, just let, just give yourself a minute, let your back settle into the mat. Bring your hands down at your sides. And we always counter shoulder stand with fish. So your hands are down at your sides. Now lift yourself up onto your elbows. Point your toes towards the center of the room and start to walk your hands towards, the, towards your heels. Now lift your chest up. Draw the elbows and shoulders. Lift the chest up. Lift your chin and your throat. Don't let your head drop back, but you want to get extension. This is good for your thyroid. Good. Keep lifting the chest up to the ceiling. And if it's available to you, bring the top of your head down onto the floor. And then if it's available to you, you can lift your fingers up towards the ceiling, take, leaving your elbows onto the mat. And then if it's available to you, you can lift your toes up. And then if you want, you can take your fingers right up. But just go, just go as far as feels comfortable for you. Keep pointing your toes towards the center of the room. Good. If your feet are up, lower your feet down. Bring your hands down. Press your hands into the floor and lift your head up. Good, and lower yourself down onto your mat, onto your back. If your mat's folded in, just release it so it's flat. Now bend your knees and cross your right leg over your left leg. Bring your arms out into airplane, so all the way across to the inside of your knee, and allow your knees to roll over to the right. This is a twist. Other way to the, yeah, sorry, to, did I, I said to the right. Sorry, bring your knees. Right leg is over your left. Bring your knees to the left. Sorry. Keep your right shoulder down into the floor and turn to look at your right hand. Feeling the twist on the right side. Good. Slowing the breath down. Now lift your knees up. Take your left leg and cross it over the right leg. Arms out into airplane and now allow your knees to come over to the right. Keeping that left shoulder down into the floor and turn to look at your left hand. Lift your knees up, uncross your legs, bring your knees into your chest, cross your ankles over, hold on to your shins, and we're going to rock and roll up to sitting. So come right up to sitting. Good. All right, let's come back into Dandasana. Move the fleshy parts out of the way. Your legs are extended, your feet are flexed, toes are drawing back. Now bring your right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Bring your hands towards the outside of your foot. Lift your arms up to the ceiling, take a deep breath, inhale as you reach up. And then exhale, start to reach over that front leg. So it's a bit of a twist as well as a forward bend. Don't round out, don't collapse into it. Take another deep breath in, lift up your chest, and then lower your hands down, just reaching for wherever you can. If you want to use a strap, you can. Good. If you need to add a bend to that knee, go ahead. Let's take another deep breath, inhale, get extension, lift up the chest, and then exhale, go a little bit more. And now round out your back, lower your forehead down. Release your hands, walk your hands back, and roll yourself up. And extend your right leg out. Bend your left knee, bring the bottom of the left foot to the inside of your right thigh. So you're lifting up, 
reaching your arms up so you're twisting your body over that right leg right foot stays flexed deep breath inhale lift up your chest and exhale lead with your belly let's go a little ways let's take another deep breath inhale get extension and then use the exhalation to go a little bit farther now lower your hands down holding on to whatever you can and again take another deep breath inhale and exhale Now round out your back and lower your forehead down. Release your hands and walk yourself up. Good. Bring the bottoms of your feet together into Baddha Konasana. Lifting up, pull your he yourself a little bit closer towards your heels. And then release your hands. Bring your hands forward and open your feet out. And again, pull the belly in. Let's get extension. And then exhale, round out and lower your forehead down. Tuck your chin in and lift yourself up. Bring your hands underneath your knees and squeeze your knees together. And we're going to make our way down onto our back for Shavasana. So turn yourself around and bring your head to the front of the mat. Lying down onto your back. And let's begin with a deep sigh. Let's take a nice deep breath. Inhale. Exhale and a sigh. Allow your feet to flop open to the sides. Your hands are down at the sides. Your palms are up. Make sure you're comfortable. If you have glasses on, you can remove your glasses. Let's take another deep breath. Inhale. And on your exhalation, relax your body. Relax your toes the balls of your feet, your insteps, your heels. Relax the tops of your feet, your ankles. Relax your shins, knees, all the muscles in your thighs. Relax your hips, Release your bandhas. Allow the pelvic floor to soften. Soften your lower belly. Relax your back, sinking into the mat. The relaxation pulls all the way up your back. And then it floats across your shoulders and down your arms, relaxing your upper arms, releasing your elbows, your lower arms, your wrists, relax your hands, palms and fingers. Feel the relaxation spread to your neck and throat, slacken your jaw, your mouth, your cheeks, your eyes and your brow. And take this opportunity to thank your body for all that it was able to do today. Thank your body for being able to bend, stretch, stand, sit, and twist. Feel the gratitude that your body is able to move so beautifully and gracefully. Recognize the excellence and perfection of your body. Remember to continue to honor your body, your temple, each and every day. Honor your body by keeping it hydrated with clean, fresh water. Honor your body by feeding it healthy, wholesome food. Honor your body by giving it necessary rest and relaxation. As well, honor your body by allowing it the joy of movement every day. So I ask you to please remember to take deep breaths 
and treat your body with love and kindness. Deepening your breath. Bring some movement back into your body, wiggling your fingers, your toes. And when you're ready, roll over onto your right side, cradling your head with your arm. make your way up to sitting with your hands in prayer your eyes can remain closed or your gaze is down and we're going to, going to end this practice with a single solitary om we'll take a deep breath inhale exhale the breath and on the second inhalation we'll om deep breath in let's in inhale for the om Oh Namaste 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 Okay, thank you very much. You guys did awesome.